Hi folks, cubic trisection puzzle. Let's walk through how we figured out how to work hold and machine these three puzzle pieces. Welcome to another Wednesday widget. If you're not aware of GrabCAD, it is a great repository of free CAD files. So when we heard about one of these puzzles, I thought we've got to make one of these. It's such a cool and fascinating shape, the way they fit together. Kind of reminds me of the video we did a while back on solids of constant width. So Alex took the lead on this one. He found that CAD file, but then he had to manipulate it. And the reason is fixed strain on this kicked our butt. This is a really tricky part to hold on to for that second operation. And this peg here is a big hint to how we did it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I gotta give a shout out to Alex. He's one of our high school interns and he did a great job bringing this project home. He's also been the one who's done a lot of the heavy lifting on our revised cam templates, tool libraries, and thread milling libraries over on the NYC CNC website. If you've had a really tricky work holding experience, share it in the comments below. As we finish up the 3D surfacing on OP1, it's all been relatively easy going, but the question is how do you flip this part? How do you hold a pretty organic, complex shape that doesn't have nice square faces to squeeze up against? And what we came up with, you could argue is overkill, but it worked. Alex had a eureka moment. It was super exciting because he came into my office. He said, I've got it, I figured it out. When we had tried super glue alone, it didn't work. We tried adding air vents to keep the fixture cool so that the adhesive on the masking tape didn't fail from built up heat. And then he realized, wait a minute here, I can both add a thread to my op one part that massively increases the rigidity of the work holding and we can custom machine a fixture that's gonna help that op one geometry nest into this fixture and really increase the overall strength. Now that this is all said and done, we probably don't need that air vent to help cool the fixture. Well, side note, we've also found some new tape that works even better and is able to withstand slightly higher temperatures. We found that common household masking or painter's tape, the adhesive fails around 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 degrees Celsius.
And after we finished all the surfacing on op two, there is a third op. We've got to machine off that post that we use for the work holding. But the beauty is I call this kind of like an op two B or kind of like an op zero. Yes, it's a third op and we have to do a new setup and so forth, but it's not a risky operation, mostly because we're able to use the exact same fixture as we rotate that part over and then quickly machine off that stud. We thought it would be cool to have a kind of fun, different look of these. So we 3D printed one of the pieces as well as the others that we machine. And it's a fun little puzzle. So if you're looking for a project, whether you're teaching a high school program or getting kids involved in machining or yourself trying to machine something that's a little bit trickier than you've done before, go ahead and tackle this project. We've got the CAD files up on the NYC CNC website. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.